The X-59 is a research vehicle we're building for NASA to demonstrate the ability to shape a sonic boom to reduce its impact on communities. While the aircraft's being built here in Palmdale, we've had fantastic support from across the country. Back in December, we shipped X-59 to Fort Worth to undergo two main tests. First, the airplane went through a structural proof test to show that its structure meets all of the requirements. And secondly, the fuel system was tested to show that it measures fuel accurately and that it delivers all the flow rates necessary to the engine. I uh, got a chance recently to help out during structural testing and it was great to see the vehicle that we've been working so hard to design right in front of us going through its paces. We installed the vehicle inside the structural test rig and pushed and pulled on it with jacks to simulate the operational loads that it would experience. This allowed us to gather data to successfully correlate our models with. Digital engineering has been integral to the design of X-59 since its earliest stages. Unlike traditional aircraft, where we extensively used wind tunnels to shape and understand the flow around the configuration, we used thousands of computer simulations to characterize the nuance of every single flow feature on the airplane. In order to meet our targeted boom levels, we had to predict the shape of the vehicle through aeroelastic modeling and assess its impact on boom. We found that it was important to account for these deflections, so we designed a jig shape that allows the vehicle to reach its target shape during cruise as it deforms in flight. This cruise condition was one of the cases we recently tested, and we were able to show that our predicted deflections were within 10% of our measured ones. That was strictly necessary to meet its low boom requirements, and it was one of the key enablers for why we were able to build and develop X-59 now rather than 20 or 30 years ago. Sonic booms can be very loud, strong enough to shatter windows, the predicted strength of the X-59 sonic boom is closer to a car door slamming. NASA's goal is to use this vehicle to gather data from communities and help lift restrictions for supersonic commercial travel over land. We still have some testing as we prepare for first flight, but it's going to be an exciting year.